uh, you know, say you're only getting 10% uh, click-through rate in the top spot. Well, then Google notices and it says like, holy smokes, like there's something wrong here. Uh, you know, this listing should be getting a 30% click-through rate, but it's only a getting 10. Uh, we should probably demote, demote the listing a little bit because it's just not, the click-through rate isn't commensurate with what you would expect for a first page listing. So, uh, you know, because the, uh, the the whole nature of the SERP is winner take all, there's, you know, there's winners and losers. Uh, you, you really want to get those click-through rates, you know, up and higher than your competitors uh, for those two reasons. One, even if it doesn't impact your rank at all, having a more clicky title will, will, will mean, you know, double your clicks, uh, you know, and if, if you uh, believe as I do uh, that, um, you know, there's a machine learning feedback loop uh, in RankBrain that kind of reorders based on click-through rates uh, and other engagement metrics, uh, then you will also see your rankings improve. Uh, in fact, all you need to do on average to raise your position by one spot on the, on the first page is to beat the expected average click-through rate for your given spot by 3%, uh, and then, then you'll be noticed and, and, and be promoted to the, next, uh, to the next spot. That's sort of the averages that I've computed in my research. Interesting. Are you, are you following uh, me so far, Liam? Yeah, yeah. so just that 3%, um, and there's obviously probably tools that um, you can get really advanced to be able to track these things. What are, what are some of the things that you're doing um, to get people to, to click? What are the things that you're, you're seeing working? Well, uh, there's big things and little things. Uh, why don't we start with kind of the basics and then move on to the, the advanced things. The first thing you, you need to do is you need to find a pay-per-click advertising guy um, as and make friends with him or her because, you know, in, in pay-per-click advertising, which is actually my background, uh, there is no links. You know what I mean? Like you, it's, it's AdWords was a machine learning system since day one. Okay. There was no like rank brain update in the last you know year or two. Uh, like since 2002, uh, these ads were all scored based on their click through rates. You follow? Uh, so, you know, they're, these people click advertising guys, they're really good at raising the click through rates of the ads that they're serving. Now it, it's kind of a similar concept because the ads and the organic listings, they kind of look identical these days with the expanded text ads. They have the same number of characters, same, same headline length. So basically, you know, you want to use all these tactics uh, that the pay-per-click guys are using in AdWords uh, to, to raise the click-through rates. I can summarize a few of the really hot ideas. Uh, number one is to use, um, uh, so um, these SEO headlines where it's like, you know, where you take the, the, the focus keyword and you kind of repeat it once or twice, uh, those, those do okay, but not great. Okay, so if you think about a percentile score, um, they score, you know, like 66 percentile kind of, kind of um, you know, uh, achievement. So, uh, meaning you're, they're not likely to do terrible, but they're not likely to do great. The reason why I know this is because it's the same idea in, in, um, in, in pay-per-click advertising where you uh, do dynamic keyword insertion. Are you familiar, familiar with this? It's where you kind of stick back, you pair it back the query that the user put like in the headline of your ad and, and that tends to generate sort of like upper middle class results, not spectacular, not terrible. Um, so basically, um, you know, I think that's kind of the old way of doing it. It's kind of, you know, it's low risk kind of moderate return. Uh, what I advise people to do is kind of throw out that the old playbook of, of like these keyword heavy, uh, title tags basically because the title tag really is uh, the thing that makes you want to click right um, and instead go with a slightly less keyword heavy uh, approach and, and instead leverage um, uh, you know emotional triggers um, so you know like the one example that I use a lot is is just for like divorce lawyers okay so like the SEO guy might say okay well divorce lawyer Boston you know dash you know sign up for a free consultation for divorce, your divorce uh, proceedings. It's like, he's, he's kind of putting in a couple keywords in the headline and it's like, yeah, it's kind of what they're looking for. Um, but what you can do instead is leverage emotional triggers uh, and, and do something like, um, you know, you, uh, you know, like, 
you don't even have to include the, the the word really. You could just say like, "Who is he sleeping with?" You know, get revenge and a smile on your face. You know, Boston divorce lawyers. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, so you you could just. Um, uh, I think I think you're on mute, by the way. Uh, I think um, you, you could um, uh, leverage these ideas to to um, kind of really. Um, uh, raise the emotional triggers like fear or or anger or awe or laughter or, or you know or shock like just different different emotional triggers that make people want to click there's like seven or eight of them